Welcome back for another Tuesday Thoughts video. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, lime. Lime quality versus lime purity. What do those mean? Uh, are they the same thing or different? So let's start first with lime purity. Lime purity is more about the chemical composition of the lime and material. Uh, purity for a pure product we want just uh, three components, calcium, carbon, and oxygen. So calcium carbonate. Uh, the higher the calcium carbonate content, the more pure the lime is. So we would like to have, you know, 100% purity. That would be 100% calcium carbonate. Often that's not the case. There's some other element mixed in there as well. Um, and then it's also interesting to think about we can have a lime purity over 100%. Now, how does that happen? Well, if it's got some magnesium in it, dolomitic limestone, uh, magnesium, since it has a lighter weight than calcium, uh, if you have, say, 3 or 4% magnesium and then the rest is calcium, uh, you know, 96% calcium, 4% magnesium, technically, based on the calculation, we can have over 100% lime purity. So once again, we want that purity number up. That's what we start with. Uh, next, we move to uh, the uh, lime quality. Now, what does that mean? Uh, to get our lime to react in the soil, it's all about exposing that lime, that uh, lime or fertilizer product to the soil. So it's about surface area. So we want a finely ground product because that would maximize surface area that comes in contact with the soil to initiate that change in soil pH. So maximizing surface area, we gotta think about the old example of, uh, you know, if I fill a room with uh, golf balls or I fill a room with basketballs, they take up the same amount of space but the surface area is different. So if you want to think about that same thing with lime quality, um, once again, you got to get a smaller material, reacts faster. So to do that, we do a sieve test. Uh, we have two, two sieve sizes, an eight mesh and a 60 mesh. Uh, so then we put the lime material on top. Uh, we run water over it to try to wash the material down through and catch stuff that remains on the eight mesh, catch stuff that remains on the 60 mesh, catch the amount that passes through the 60 mesh. Those give us our breakdowns on our particle sizes. Based on those particle sizes, we get a lime quality. So just because you have a pure product doesn't mean you necessarily have a quality product. So you can have high purity, but if you don't get a fine grind and you get pieces of the fer uh, fertilizer remaining on the eight mesh sieve, your quality uh, diminishes. Likewise, you can have a lower purity product but if you grind it fine enough, uh, its quality becomes exactly the same as its purity. So hopefully that helps. So remember the difference when you're uh, evaluating potential lime sources over the winter season here before spring comes along to think about quality versus purity.